In this tutorial, we're going to walk you through Yoast's WordPress SEO internal links. So we're starting off in the WordPress dashboard, as you can see, and I'm already in the SEO dashboard. So on the left-hand side, I just identify internal links and open that. So what the plugin is really talking about when it's talking about internal links is breadcrumbs. And breadcrumbs are kind of a navigation structure that help people to identify where they are on your website and find their way around depending on where they are. I'm just going to show you this site here called Yinpress just quickly. And you can see here it says you are here home couch to WP Pro Series beginner and then the article name. And that's a great example of what breadcrumbs are. So we'll just hop back into the Yoast plugin now. And essentially what we've got here is the ability to enable breadcrumbs. And the first setting we can choose after that is what separator we want. You can choose a pipe, you can have a dash, you can have an M dash, uh, you can have these nifty little arrows, you can have whatever you like. I'm gonna use these arrows for this demonstration. You can choose the anchor text for the home page. Uh, once again, it could be anything you like. You might just want to go home page, keep it nice and simple. You can set a prefix for the breadcrumb path, the prefix for the archive breadcrumbs if you like. So you might want to set you are here. And we can do that similarly for the archives as well. And for the search page, we might have something like searching. And for a 404 page, we might put something like not found. It's very uh, very simple in that respect. You can also choose to remove the blog page from breadcrumbs. Uh, it's up to you if you want to do it, of course. We're not going to remove that for the moment. We're just going to leave it as is. Uh, now, the next setting we have is the taxonomy to show in breadcrumbs 4. And you can see we can choose from category tag and format. The default's none. It's okay to leave it like that if you'd like. Uh, and finally, we can choose to bold the last page in the breadcrumb. I like that, I think it's a nice effect, so I'm turning it on. And then just towards the end here, we have how to insert breadcrumbs into your theme. This will be covered in the next part of this tutorial, uh, but for the most part, what you'll need to do is prepare to get ready to do this. You'll need to set up a child theme, and it's also best practice to identify which template files you need to make adjustments to to get this working. So if you're happy with how you've set up your breadcrumb structure, you just simply save changes. Now, as mentioned, uh, it won't actually show the breadcrumbs in the theme yet. So if we just go back here and go onto a post, we can see there are no breadcrumbs because we haven't inserted that code. So as mentioned, we're just covering the settings and what they mean. And in the next tutorial, we're going to show you how you can actually insert those breadcrumbs into your theme. If you have any questions on breadcrumbs so far, please feel free to ask in the comments below.